Hey, it's Jason from Kinetic and Joe from Evo. And we're here to demonstrate a few ways to improve your glute engagement before you hit the trail. So this is a pretty foundational component to just producing a lot of power and stability uh, while you're on the bike, whether that's uh, in your pedal stroke or just being able to support yourself strongly while descending. Yeah, and if you're not getting enough glute engagement, you're probably adding a little too much work from the quad group rather than driving with the glutes and the hamstrings. So if you have a little tension in your knee or anything like that, it could be that we just need to get better glute engagement. So we're gonna demonstrate a couple movements here. Joe's gonna start on his back. And the first thing that we wanna check in on is does he have the ability to engage his glute without over-engaging the tissues that surround it? So we call these independent glute contractions. He's gonna try to squeeze his right glute without engaging his white right quad. What do you think, can you do that? Yeah, it's harder than you'd think. Yeah, so the tendency is to want to really over-engage some of these tissues on the top side of the hip rather than getting that activation from the bottom. So you're just checking in, can you squeeze your right glute without your right quad, and then your left glute without your left quad, and so on. Um, just kind of a basic thing to check in on to see if you might be over-engaging the quads. Um, but beyond that, if you're in the car, you've got a 30 minute drive before the trail, check in, make sure those glutes are active. Um, it's just a nice way to prepare for a long ride. And I kind of feel like my knee, rather than driving this way, is going to be driving out. So we want to be as stationary as possible and try to engage just that one tissue group, just the glute, without the other things surrounding it. Just kind of clenching that tissue. Um, so that's step one. Step two is to actually turn this into a more engagement-based exercise. So we're gonna do glute bridges here, but we're gonna be really mindful with how we do it. So he's gonna begin bracing his core to protect his back. He's going to drive his heels down into the floor, about 50% pressure to get some good glute engagement. And as long as he already has that, you're gonna start to drive up off the floor. And this is very much, he's trying to get as much hip extension as he can, all the way till the hips lock out and then right back down. And it's very much a push from the floor up using the glutes rather than a pull or a lift with the hips. So again, squeezing the glutes, driving the heels in the floor and then rising on up, getting as much glute activation here as possible. Um, some things to keep in mind, he's doing great not disengaging his core. If you notice um, his back's nice and flat as he's rising up and down, that's great. Uh, uh, incorrect rep might look more like this, where he arches up, got a little too much engagement at the back, probably too much lift from the quads here. So this is something to do, um, maybe before you even get into the car, uh, to just get your body ready for the trail. So we'll see you out there. Yeah.